In case you're wondering what I am doing, um, I'm using tight bond three and sheetrock joint tape. Um, so um, tight bond three is stronger than wood. And when you immerse it in paper, which is also wood, it's paper is made from wood fibers. Um, you get a really strong, um, once it dries, you get a really strong joint. Um, and I've already tested this on previous videos. This paper, each, each linear inch of paper will hold over 30 pounds of weight. Um, so this is an alternative to epoxy and glass fiberglass tape. Now it's probably not as hard as epoxy. It's not as hard as epoxy, but it's more flexible and it's tougher. So that's the advantage. And this wing has to flex when it hits waves, it has to flex up and down over the waves. So um, now I might still put epoxy on the bottom underside of the uh, of the wing just so that I can sand it to a glass finish. So yeah, basically this is paper mache, but it's with waterproof glue. And uh, the two previous boats that I built, I built them the same way. The, the other two boats that I have built, uh, they've never actually, water has never reached the plywood. Okay, there's the leading edge of my wing. That is the radius on the edge. Okay, here we are looking at the, the bottom of my wing. The leading edge is on the ground. Uh, this is the trailing edge. Um, so another reason that I'm using paper tape as opposed to fiberglass tape is um, you really need a sharp corner here. Um, this will keep the water, it, it, the, the water has to detach uh, at, the, at the trailing edge. Um, uh, you don't want it to, to wrap around this, so there can't be a radius here at all. Um, and with the paper tape, you don't need a radius, um, but with fiberglass, you do. Otherwise, you start breaking. Um, at least a third of the fibers will, will just break, and then it won't have any strength anyway. So, um, so the paper is good for going around sharp corners. OK, 
Okay, here's the results. Um, so uh, I use a lot of the same technique that you would use with glass cloth, but I'm using uh, paper seam tape. Um, you can see here where I, I snipped the corner and then I folded them over. And then where it, where the uh, where it starts to curve, you have, you, you got to snip it. And uh, and then here I snipped it here, so it's curving the other way. Another snip. And there is the folded corner.